Okay. So, welcome today. I'm going to show you a little trick that I have recently discovered in Ableton. Um, I'm sure that I've wanted to be able to do this for a long time, but I just figured out how to go about doing it. Um, it's a pretty simple way of sampling. There's the normal way of sampling, you know, where you could <laughs> where you drag in your sample. Let's say you go through here and you pick out the chops and Anyway, a simple way you can go through and you're like, oh yeah, I want to chop right there, right there, right there. You drag and use warp markers. But I found another cool way, which is also really cool because you can stretch it out and get those grains. And you can you can keep those in the sound, which I have a lot of trouble figuring out. Usually, I just like drag it through the sample and do the whole thing, but then it takes way too long because, excuse me, you have to re-edit it and everything. You have to go back and resample it, and time's gonna be all fucked up. And anyway. Uh, so here's my solution, and I know a lot of people have been wanting to do this. It's kind of similar to sampling on some old school hardware machines, I believe. So, so you go in here, make an audio track, and you drag it down to resampling, and we're gonna be resampling from. Oh wait, hold on. Can you hear this? Alright, but now you should be able to hear. So, let's just make sure I'm getting sound out of here. Alright, anyway. So, you make a new track, and also we're going to need a drum rack. Throw the drum rack in there. The drum rack has nothing in it. I'm just using my <coughs> micro cord controller but you guys could use you know uh, trigger fingers or MPDs or whatever it all works the same go over here to the resampling tracks on that one and then I'll drag this one on so now as you're playing it back you're gonna want to do this at the beginning of your project and or you're just gonna have to solo the tracks that you want to sample from. So, go into your MIDI options, and then we're gonna start at um, the middle of the micro cord, so, and just work down three, four, I mean, if you have 16 pads, I, I ran out of keys, and I'm not using the sharps. So, now you go exit MIDI mode. I think, I believe that you can do like, you can press C and then that, and then like when you let go of the key, it'll stop it. But I'm not sure, so we can try that out. I, I did it with my bottom C. Okay, so here you go. Now, Just listen to the song from wherever. And you can use the back of this one. And then, so every time that you want to chop a sample, all you have to do is press the key 
that lines up with each of these sample spots. And then we'll eventually be able to drag all these into our drum rack. So let's clean this out. I'll start this full time a little bit earlier. Especially because when I'm using uh, when I'm using my recording software, there's a little bit of lag in see because I have to switch the sound from my inbox to computer AI. So, so. Um, but anyway, then you can go back through these. This first track because this is getting lazy. This is you just work through through here. Let me let's put in some some random fucking drums. We'll throw it in the drum rack. I mean, you don't need the drum rack, really. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure people can record a whole track like that. But I'm just down here. Let's drag this in, instruments, drum rack. So let's drag this into the um, drum rack. That I mean, it's a little bit easier if you're going to be technically editing all of these things. I'll go over there. And I mean, you can do this as many times as you want. Just throw that shit away, cut another one. Drum rack. Let's see. <laughs> on here. Let's give it a little bit of the drum on the little side chain. You can always put them back, or um, I'm not sure if there's a way to save them. If I could save them, that would be pretty cool. Maybe maybe make a project just to do this, and then when you're done, just save your drum rack, and then close this project, open up a new one. To that, one. that way you don't have to keep remapping them. But I don't know. I just deleted them. I'll just go back to it later.
see if I'm making a video of this. I mean, and there's a lot more control over the... simple. Good use because it took me for fucking ever to figure it out. 